have here. Hey, can you hear that in the background? Silence. Good Sunday morning to y'all, you guys. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, I had done a video all week, so I'm going to do one today on a, a push mower that has a uh, drive problem and show you a couple similarities with a Craftsman and a Troy built and show you how to, we're going to figure out what's wrong with this self-propelled lawnmower. But uh, I want to give a big thank you to all my friends out there and uh, everybody from the YouTube people to uh, just uh, everybody. Uh, I was kind of in dire straits here the last uh, year and a half and uh, looks like everything's going to work out okay. And I just want to thank everybody that had supported me along the way. So if you're interested in fixing this lawnmower that I'm about to show you, stay tuned. We'll get right into it. <music> a Craftsman M250 160cc very similar to this this is a Troy built TB210 and the drive system is not working on this one but this is very similar to this Troy built here I just have the cover off of this one because I'm working on it uh, we've got to change the cable on this one but as you can see the covers are almost identical, just different names. So, the lady that brought this over here says she's already taken this off and put it back on by herself. Uh, couldn't find the problem, but there's two two bolts here, one there and one there, and there's about six underneath that we're going to have to take off. I was really impressed. She's an older lady, and uh, somehow she figured out how to do it by herself, so she almost got it done. But she says underneath the cover, the belt's just flopping around. So we're going to go through that today and see what's up. And look at this. She's such a good customer. I can't show you her name, but she already put a, a tag on it for me. And she carries around her own little trash bag to pick up stuff. So let me get you set up on the tripod. We're going to get this cover off and uh, see what's going on underneath. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, there's two... 10 millimeter or 3 8 uh, bolts on each side of this cover. This has got the uh, Honda GCV 160 engine on it. Good little engine for the homeowner. Actually, it's a good engine for anything, really. And uh, these are all screws that are plastic screws or threaded plastic screws. So, this is a pretty uh, simple way to, uh, or pretty simple more. The only thing that can be confusing is there's a there's about six screws underneath that you have to take off to get this cover off. Uh, so, and I hate to flip them more up on its side, but if you're going to have to, make sure that you flip it with the air filter side up. Make sure the gas tank's tight and that the oil cap is tight when you flip it over. And uh, we're just going to flip. It you a little bit closer and we may have to get our scraper out uh, you want to go ahead and undo the spark plug too because uh, you're going to be spinning the blade the blade's going to have to come off make sure you get that spark plug off now I see a zip tie down here already so maybe she did something to try to you know try to uh I don't know. The next thing we're going to get, uh, let me go get my socket, and uh, we're going to take this blade off. So hold on, give me just a second, and I'll be right so, back. I want to use my air impact, but it is early in the morning, and people are still sleeping. So we're going to see if we can't get it off the old-fashioned way. And so we'll see what happens here. I'm so happy, uh, guys. No background noise. Happy to be here. Happy to uh, still be living here. Doesn't have to shut down. Anyway, so you can do it however. I take a block and put it under there like this. Some more is a block won't fit just right. You have to come up with other things to wedge in there. But uh, just be careful though, because if whatever you support it with, if that happens to slip, this blade will spin around and it'll get you. So you know, make sure you're practicing safety. And we'll see if the person before me put this blade on T 
too tight or not tight enough or whatever. There we go. There we go. Nice. That is just about perfect. Some people, they put them back on with the air impact on wide open and that's about the only way you can get them off. Now on this particular model, you got your blade bolt coming out here. And then you have a, this kind of supports the blade when it's on there. And you can see it's got two little tabs there that fit into where the blade fits on the blade adapter. Classic uh, MPD with the this kind of pattern. And there's two little nibs that stick out on the blade adapter here that the blade fits around. So just remember that when you're taking it apart. When you get ready to put it back together. And this blade's in pretty good shape. We're going to put an edge on it before we put it back on for it. Once you get to this point, then you've got one 10 millimeter or 3 8 here and here to get this cover off. So that's what we're going to do next. Maybe I can do it by hand. Yeah. If you want to see what the, if that blade's on this pulley or not, which it probably is, you may just need a new belt. I'm not sure. Like I said, she said it was flopping around, but she had pulled this cover off already, and it was on up there. But you know, you never know. You go by what people say. You always got to inspect it for yourself. You can kind of line this up with this cover here get that off okay here's the problem all right guys can you see that she, she said she knew it was on up under here so we may not even take all this off now but the belt's off right here so it's just off the pulley right here see if we can't put that back on and uh I'm gonna go pull on the drive handle so we can spin this blade, so I can spin this around and pull this. Well, I can do this. One. I just want to make sure that belt's in good shape. It looks almost new. So, a little dirt in here. Now, this could be the fact that somebody did change this belt and they didn't get the belt back inside this liner here because this serves as a belt guide. I'm not sure. But there was a zip tie down in there. Uh, so if I act like I'm doing the transmission, it is pulling the belt tight. So you know what? For now, I'm just going to put this back on and the blade back on and see if that's not the problem. So stay tuned. Let me zip this back on and we'll see what's up. And an easy way to do this so you make sure you're inside the belt tensioner, I mean you're inside the belt guides, I like to just go ahead and pull the handle down and put me like a clamp on it. That way it'll tighten the belt up for you. Let me show you. So I'm down here now and I'm going to tighten that this belt up like that. Hold on, I gotta get a bigger clamp. It is early Sunday morning. So, y'all see that belt tightening up, right? So now, this belt's got a lot of tension on it, so you ain't got to try to fiddle with it with your hands. And there's two little tabs sticking out, so when you put this back on, yeah, there you go. And then just put your two bolts. Now all of them aren't this easy. Uh, 
and I don't know that this is the only problem we have because I haven't looked under here but if we were going to take the top cover off you're still going to have to take this bolt out here there's one right here and then there's three four five six and there's one right there seven and that'll get that top cover out of the way for you so we may go ahead and do that anyway since I've already started this video but I didn't think it was going to be this simple turns out it is we know this end of it's good so we're going to go ahead and put the blade back on too while we're here So I'll be back in a second. I'm going to sharpen that blade before I put it back on. I'll catch you in just a minute. I'm just going to show you. Look at all this wet grass that I scraped out from under this deck. If you don't do this, it'll rust your deck out. It, it, it'll make a shorter life of your lawnmower. And not only that, when you're cutting grass, once this stuff gets caked up, it'll affect the way your cut looks. So... Uh, and this one has a spigot on it on the top side where she could just uh, hose it out, you know, while it's running. But apparently she wanted to cut her grass before she brought it over here, even though the drive wasn't working. So she went ahead, and it's been raining the last few days here. So she probably, but look at all that. That's just what I got off, you know. I'm just doing a courtesy clean. Oh, and by the way, too, I'll show you later on. Today is, I might start this new thing called uh, T-shirt video day or whatever. Today's video, I am featuring this one right here. Henry Morowski, the big dog himself. That's the shirt I'm wearing today. And uh, maybe I'll get a picture of the back of it for you. But uh, if you guys have a T-shirt out there you'd like me to wear, Go ahead and send it to me, and I'll wear it in my next video, or a video upcoming soon. So, I think once a week I'm going to wear a different uh, t-shirt featuring somebody's channel, or some kind of something. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, I just want to show you about cleaning the deck, how much can come out of here. So, let me get the blade sharpened, and we'll put it back on, and we'll see if it works. good measure we went ahead and took the bolts off underneath I want to look under this cover before I start it up since she's been in here fiddling with it so they're they're done and then you just have to take this uh, height adjuster bar and push it out of the way right about like that and then this whole cover comes off uh, so this part wasn't back on and what this is this is the belt guide so and it's got two slots that it fits in. Let me take you off the uh, tripod and I'll show you. You see this, but this will go, you would squeeze the belt in, and this corner piece goes up under there. And there's a little hole up here that this would fit in. And then on the back side back here, there's another hole that this fits in. Kind of like like that but this one's not wanting to stay hold on so anyway that's it right there so one end goes in like this and the other pin goes in like this and that fits around there and that that's your belt guide for the front or your belt keeper and while you're in here, go ahead and clean out all this grass that's under here because none of this stuff is good. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so let me get the cover back on and we'll fire up and see if the drive works. See what she does.
So if you're having problems with your drive belt, uh, or your this applies to like this. I said this is a Craftsman M250, but a Troy built TB210. Any of them Troy built with the front wheel drives do the same lawnmower, same exact thing, just different stickers. Uh, so I hope this helped you guys out. And like I said, send me a, a t-shirt or a hat if you want me to wear it in my video. I'm going to try to do that once a week now. And uh, I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Uh, once again, thanks for everybody's support. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. And uh, things are looking up at Jungle Bob Repair. So with that being said, we'll catch you on the next one. Jungle Bob out.